Hi, this is Terry Wishman, and I am here with um, Senior Director of Open Solaris Core Engineering, Tim Kramer. Hi. And the extremely distinguished engineer, Stephen Hahn. And we're here to talk about Open Solaris. Um, so, why don't you guys tell me a little bit about what's really cool that's happening within Open Solaris today? So, I mean, we've been building up to this for a while, but on the 5th of May, we're going to release the uh, an, a distribution of Open Solaris, which is it's going to be a live CD. So, it's something that you can download and burn yourself, or we'll give out CDs at the conference and we'll probably give them out by mail too, and a couple other things. But within an hour, you can download it and uh, get up and running. And so, it's a, it's a system that you can try as a try it out on your machine without doing ins any installation. Yeah, and one other cool thing we're doing is uh, we're modernizing it too. So it's not your grandmother's Solaris anymore. Right. It is Open Solaris, and what we're doing is trying to appeal to the Linux developer community. So things that are familiar to a Linux developer are going to be very familiar to them in Open Solaris, but then also we'll have a bit uh, more po some more powerful options to offer them that'll be unique. Right. I mean, we've got been putting. Uh, D-Trace probes in a whole bunch of open source software uh, by collaborating with the, the communities that produce those components like um, Firefox for instance and, and MySQL. Oh yeah, you gotta check out the, the, the D-Lite demo oh, right. at Community <laughs> right. One because that's cool. Right. Right? So, you uh, can actually debug JavaScript and look at the code and everything as it's running in Firefox. Can't do that anywhere else. That's right. very cool. So I mean as you were saying, you know, we've been changing things or looking at things um, that we haven't changed in 15 years, and, and we really think that there's some opportunities uh, to make things easier on, on developers or really anyone using, you know, using Solaris or using Open Solaris now. So. And can you guys tell me a little bit about um, the community itself, um, like how important they are to us, and that sort of thing? Well, I think um, if you if you look at the opensolaris.org site, we have a whole bunch of uh, both development and just sort of participation with with members from all, all kinds of different different companies and people who are using it as individuals, using it in universities, and, and so forth. So, I mean, you can see there's a constant uh, discussion about what, what to do next as what to do next, and how, how best to do things. So, I mean... Yeah, I've got a number of different communities. I mean, we've got system administrators there. We've got people that are uh, marketing, you know, a advocates, uh, and a lot of great developers and engineers that are trying to right. make the system a lot better and help us modernize things and, uh, and to make, you know, Open Solaris a premier operating environment. Right. I mean, a few days before the Community One Day, is uh, a bunch of those developers are getting together. Right? And then we'll yeah. have a discussion about, about where the operating system might go next. Yeah. So yeah. You'll be at that. I'll be at that. that <laughs> I'm, that's hope, at I'm the, hoping to drop it. <laughs> yeah, that's at the, uh, in Santa Cruz, at the University of California, Santa Cruz. That's uh, right. On the weekend prior. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the summit, um, the Open Slayer Summit, correct? Yeah. We, we actually had to close it, but I mean, if you're watching this video, just show up anyway. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be all day, Saturday and Sunday. Give them a cup of coffee. Yeah. Some banana yeah, we'll let you, we'll yeah. let you in. Okay? <laughs> just just exactly. say the secret password, which That's is right. Open Solaris. I, no one else will figure that out. <laughs> yeah. um, and Tim, what about, um, what about what do you want to do, or what do you want people to do with this release, this new release? Oh, yeah. So that's that's really important, right? The, the, the whole intent of this release is to make sure that we have um, developers helping us take open source packages, um, optimizing them from for Solaris using like Sun Studio and then putting them into our repository. That's the key goal that we're going to be right. really pushing forward within the next year. So right. this is our first release. We're really proud of it. We're really excited about it. There's a lot of cool stuff to check out. And you know, we want you to do that, get excited about it, and then help us grow this community. Right. And I mean, one of the, the interesting things is that we've, we've replaced the, the way you get software with a new packaging system. So if the tool you need isn't on the initial CD, you just um, use the, the package manager uh, graphical tool or use the pa package command to install the tools you need. And we'll have Studio and, and the GNU compilers and NetBeans and all the, all the tools we think you'll need to, to do those, to produce those packages. So Excellent. So. Well, thanks so much, you guys, for um, taking the time out of your day. I know you guys are really busy and slammed right now because the launch is coming on May 5th. And um, hopefully we'll be able to see everybody there and see you guys there at the big party. And uh, I know you want your shot glass, so, <laughs> so bring your sombreros, and uh, we'll see you guys there. Great, All right. thanks. Thanks, thanks a lot.